First on five, that explosion at the SpaceX Boca Chica launch site just minutes after that successful landing, the SN10 exploding, nothing left of the rocket after its launch. Let's get right to Channel 5's Rudy Mireles, who's in Port Isabel. Rudy, do we know what happened? Good evening, Dina. Yeah, no word quite yet on what happened. I can tell you everybody that was out here uh, was quite surprised. Tim and I were actually discussing uh, the landing, and we were looking in that direction just five miles that way towards the Boca Chica facility, and all of a sudden we saw flames, and it was about 15, 20 seconds after that that we just felt that explosion. And to be honest with you, it, we felt that stronger than we did those three Raptor engines at you know, initial thrust when it was trying to get up into the air. And This is video that we're going to show you right now of the explosion. Again, it happened just about eight minutes after the craft made an almost picture-perfect landing, just sitting on the pad, and then all of a sudden the blast. And actually, we took a look at some other video, and hopefully we can get that for you uh, for, for later on in the newscast or later tonight. But we saw the SN10 actually when it landed. It made a slight bounce, and there was a fire underneath once all that uh, smoke cleared. And the problem is, compared to some of the other rockets we've seen make that landing maneuver, is that fire didn't clear out right away so we're kind of wondering if that had something to do with it but from the looks of it the entire test was successful as SpaceX makes history from the Boca Chica facility accomplishing that full task of launching a vehicle of this size into suborbital flight and landing it without any issues now it did come after an initial launch was aborted after uh, an excessive thrust issue in one of those three Raptor engines Elon Musk tweeting almost within minutes after that abort saying that they'd try again today and they did during our 5 p.m. newscast the Starship flying for nearly six and a half minutes before finally coming down and softly landing unlike its predecessors. Again, however, no word yet on what happened with SN10 to make it end up like its uh, predecessors now in pieces scattered around the Boca Chica facility. Now we'll continue to follow those developments and when we hear what happened, we'll bring that back to you. Live in Port Isabel, Rudy Mireles, Channel 5 News. It's six.